This is the Vivo Y76 5G. This is seriously a no frills, no nonsense, camera first smartphone that is truly very affordable. You know, for Android users, of course, or so Apple users, you can't find something like that. Probably, yes, the iPhone SE, but then let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the Vivo Y76 5G. Okay, so first off, this guy is only at $429. Vivo launched this on the 8th of January, which is a couple of weeks back, and to cater just to the right crowd. So people who are really looking for no fuse, just wants to have a good camera in their smartphone to take photos or take videos as and when they want and produce simple and very nice looking pictures or videos at any point in time. All right, so definitely Vivo has nailed this aspect. And as for some specs, it comes with the MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor, which is slower than the um, 1200 processor in the X70 Pro. You can take a look at the link up here or below for the review of the X70 Pro. That is another beast altogether. So this definitely to cut corners, so to speak, because at $129, you definitely have to reduce certain um, specs. You can't just take the flagship components and stuff it in and then just sell it at lower price. So the processor is slower. In general, I don't feel much of a difference when I use the the phone i do sense some differences in terms of the refresh rate which i'll talk about that later and it comes with eight gigabyte of ram which cleverly vivo does a certain trick where you can boost it up to 12 gigabytes of ram by stealing some of the rom uh, memory so to boost it at certain i'm not sure the mechanics behind it but it definitely tries to push it up to 12 gig whenever it's possible so instead of just having 8 gigs we push it up where the x70 pros will already have 12 gigabyte ram built in and back to the point where i talked about the refresh rate of the y76 it's actually probably only at about 60 hertz because it's just a 6.58 inch lcd panel with 460 nits of brightness and when I use it, I do notice that you know it doesn't refresh as smoothly or it doesn't scroll as smoothly as what the X70 Pro would have done or my um, iPhone 13 Pro Max smooth refresh rate at 120Hz adaptive version some more so it does have that So, but if you don't have anything to compare, you probably you know won't feel that it's much of a deal breaker for you you know honestly We've already gone so far and at $429, who's complaining, right? It weighs in at just 175 grams as it's only 7.79 mm thick. And the battery is rated at 4,100 mAh compared to the uh, X70 Pro's 4,450 mAh. It also comes with a 44 uh, watt flash charge similar to what the X70 Pro has. So basically you can get from 0 to 70 in 32 minutes, right? So that is plenty fast if you just want to charge it up and then continue using throughout the day. It does come with two colors. This is the uh, Midnight Space, which is basically the black version. And of course they have the Cosmic Aurora, which is similar to the uh, X70 Pro's Aurora. And yes, it's 5G capable and comes with dual SIM and standby mode as well. But one thing I want to say, it doesn't come with 4K for the video. So I'll get it out of the way now. Just take note that this guy doesn't shoot in 4K for the video modes. But that's it. Most people will be happily shooting at 1080 and really can't tell the difference between 1080 and 4K unless you really want to zoom in. Otherwise, yeah, 4K, not a deal breaker. Okay, now I want to talk about the phone itself. Okay, it's well, well built. You know, of course, there's a bit of a plastic feel to it not as premium as the premium phones out there doesn't feel as solidly built but it's good enough and at 429 dollars nobody's gonna be complaining right okay so as for the phone itself you have the usb-c charging port i'm not sure if you can see that the usb-c charging port the 3.5 mm uh, jack for your earphones or headphones and of course the speaker grill and then on the right side, you get the fingerprint ID sensor built into the um, sleep-wake button. Then of course the volume rocker dials, 
Then on the top part, you have your SIM card tray. And then I think there's another microphone there. And on the left side of the phone, there will be nothing. It's similar to the X70 Pro. And yeah, that's it. Then the camera bump on the back. Did I mention that? Probably not. Yep, the camera bump, the three cameras there. Um, and it's only just 7.79 mm thick. I think this is really a very affordable and no frills, great looking smartphone. And I want to talk about what comes with the uh, phone itself. So in the box, it comes with a 45 watt USB flash charge, uh, weighted at 44 watts again. So definitely a very good addition. You don't have to spend extra money to buy any more chargers. So I really like the fact that they still provide this. And of course, you have the uh, earphones, which comes with a 3.5 mm jack. All right, so again, hard to find these days. And of course, the USB to USB-C cable. And there are a couple of other things such as the uh, SIM card remover, pin tool, and a couple of uh, documentation. And that's about it in the box. Okay, so, well, oh yes, one more. They do have, they also provided a case which the X70 Pro also provided that. So again, they have a clear case for you to use so you don't have to spend any more money. And immediately out of the box, you can get full protection for your phone. So as for the rear cameras, it comes with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel bokeh camera or a portrait camera, and also a 2 megapixel macro camera. And the front camera, it's actually just a dot hole or a dot punch kind of a camera. I don't think you can really see it here. But it's already a 16 megapixel and they claim that it's an AI Extreme Night selfie type of camera. So bottom line, it enhances brightness or keeps your photo bright at night when you use the front facing camera. And you're going to see a few examples later when I start showing the photos. And before we get to that also, you can judge for yourself the dual video function that is uh, available. I'm not sure whether the X70 Pro has that. Probably they should have that, but this Y76 has this dual video feature, which is very good for bloggers. So take a look at the video that is coming up now and you should see how it works. So I'm gonna test the Y56 5G's uh, front-facing camera's capabilities, targeted to be a night or AI night smart or something like that that you can shoot front-facing videos in the town or if you're taking selfies. You can see what the quality of the video is like. We're currently now at Wild Honey, enjoying our tea. And that's the serving coming up. That's going to be our food coming up. But I want to show a dual view and stay tuned right after this. Okay, this is the dual view mode of uh, the Y56 or any of the uh, Vivo phones. I think it's a picture-in-picture -picture type of uh, recording. It's perfect for vloggers. So you can see now, right at the back here, the front, the rear facing camera will be picking what you want to see. And of course, your commentary will allow you to talk. Should be saying this might be right there. And okay, we are Wild Honey, and this is the dual view mode of the Y56 5G. So that's the front-facing camera's function and capabilities and also the interesting dual video modes where vloggers would definitely like it. But let's look at the video stabilization or the camera stabilization mode. The ultra stabilization does has some certain shift whenever you do a too fast of a motion. And of course, there's a crop pin as well. So have a look at that and then you can make the comparison or judge for yourself. And of course, next up, there are photos that I've taken with the phone. So you can have a look at yourself and see if the quality is to your liking. Of course, put it in the hands of a better photographer. You may even take it much further.
So as you can see, it's really a very capable phone at a comfort price. And if you just want to have an Android smartphone that takes great pictures, does what you need to do, the only thing that I would find that there isn't any ultra wide mode, which, well, depends on you. I like to shoot in ultra wide, so I was hoping that it might have come with ultra wide, but instead there is a, a 2x zoom in instead, which I would have traded off more for a ultra wide, but that's really up to you to decide. So if you really do want a better camera, and a more powerful one, then go for the X70 Pro. Otherwise, the Y76 5G is definitely more than enough for you. So I hope you like this video. Continue to like, subscribe, and yeah, please share my video with your friends if you think that it's worthwhile for them to have a look. And do hit that notification button so that I can churn out more videos like this. And then I will see you in the next one. Peace.